Good morning, students. Thank you very much. So, please stand up. Um, before we start our discussion, can you please lead the prayer, uh, Mr. Gonzalez? Okay. Amen. So, please arrange the chairs and pick up the dirt on the floor before I take your seat. Thank you very much. So, may I have your attendance for this day? Um, Gonzalez? Okay. Present. Alino? Okay. Nieva? Present. Okay, I think wala namang absent. So, class, are you ready for our discussion? Okay, thank you very much. So, before we start our discussion, so, I have some activities first before we proceed to our real discussion. So, what we are going to do or the mechanics of our activity or game is analyze and observe the pictures and also choose um, it's either thumbs up or thumbs down. So if you believe that the pictures is associated with responsible uh, parenthood, you can uh, raise your hand or ask or say the thumbs up with action rather and thumbs down. Okay? Any clarification or any question with regards to the instruction? Okay, then. So let's proceed. Are you ready? Okay, very good. So the first picture that you're going to analyze and observe this is one who can guess what is the picture is all about okay it's all about the family who eats together so it is a thumbs up or a thumbs down yes miss christine very good it is thumbs up so next features how about this one class Any thought about this picture? It is a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Um, a brother. Very good. So it's all about a family or a safety of their children. So it is a thumbs up, correct? So next pictures, we have this one. So it is a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Uh, yes, Mr. Villanueva. Okay, great. It is a thumbs down. So, it is important. So, as a parent or a family member, um, we need to avoid uh, some vices or vices in order to have a bad effect to our family like separation or any struggling problems or physical uh, or any kind of violence. So, that is thumbs down. Now, okay, next, we have this one. Okay, any thought about this uh, pictures? It is a thumbs up or thumbs down? And what? Yes, Mr. Nusada. Okay, correct. It is a thumbs up because it is important. Yes, uh, Miss Christine. Okay, correct. It is important as a family or having a family, it is important to bond with uh, each other and also um, know your habits or habits in order to um, be happy or involve all the members of your uh, of your families. Okay, so class any idea? So that's end of our uh, games or first activity in our lesson. So any idea regarding to our next topic? And what? Okay, correct. It is uh, Mr. Marco. Yes, it is a responsible parenthood. So this is our third lesson in help the responsible parenthood. So our objective class for this morning is this one. Okay, can you please leave, uh, Mr. Kyle? Okay, the first one, thank you very much. So, I, I would like to repeat it again, the objectives with this, which is to know the characteristic of a healthy family, and that are different to explain the purpose of RH law, or that, um, also later. Then, letter C is to apply the concept learned about the family health. So, proceed, try, sir. 
um, definition of parent to in order to understand what is the meaning or the possible responsible of for us of payment. So the first one we're going to define what is parenthood. Anyone who can guess? Okay, correct. So what else? Okay, very good. So all your answers are correct. So marriage demands uh, that the husband and wife are fully aware of their obligation on matters of responsibility and also to their uh, parenthood. So let's define what is the parenthood mean. So based on the definition in your book, it is the state of being a parent. It means being a father or a mother of the biological child. So it is a greater responsibility for a task. So that is the meaning of responsible or uh, parenthood brother. So that is a parenthood. So now uh, let's uh, define or explain what is responsible parenthood. So further explanation about a responsible parenthood. So based on the definition uh, in your book, it is a will or it's the will and ability to respond to the needs and the aspiration of the family. So you know, so uh, the de definition of responsible, not a obligation, it is a responsible. I mean an obligation rather. So and also responsible parenthood. So it is a will again or the ability to respond or to give the needs of your uh, family. So that is the meaning of responsible parenthood and also a parenthood. Next, so we have a um, republic act that uh, include or involve in the responsible parenthood. We have the RHO, which is the republic act number 10354 or we also known as the Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Act of 2012 or also known as the RH Law, excuse me. So that is the RH Law. So what is the meaning of this uh, law? So when we say RH Law, it is the obligation that is, uh, I mean, the, uh, provides a universal access to reproduce or reproductive health care service or information. So this is the RH law and this does not prevent the uh, implementation or implementation of the fertilized ovum as determined by the Food and Drug Administration. So it is called the RH law, the Universal Access of Reproductive Health. So next, so any question regarding to this RH law? Plan? Okay, thank you very much. So, um, I think we don't have any question about parenthood and also responsible parenthood and also about the RH law. So, proceed for the next characteristic of a healthy family. So, any idea about healthy or characteristic of being a good family or having a healthy family? Anyone? Okay. Correct? Happy? What else? They can easily go to their problem or solve their problems. Correct. What else? Okay. Correct. Um, it gives some uh, yes, bind together, bind together outside. They are happy in their home. What else? Um, same hobbies. Correct. What else? No vices. Check. What else? Okay. So your answer are. All correct. So those are the um, prediction or the uh, what we think is the good characteristic of a healthy family. So now let's focus to the healthy or um, health characteristic of healthy family. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first one class we have the problem solving. So, why we need, or what is the purpose of this problem solving to the characteristic <coughs> excuse me, of a healthy family? So, it is important class, if you have any problem or problem <coughs> and issues that confront the family, do not have easy solution and they try that it's ability to function effectively. So, those are your problem solving. So, it is important as a group or as a family member, you really need to 
confront what is the issue in order to solve that problem or some threat or the ability in order to function effectively. So those are the problem, problem solving. So next class, we have the number two, the effective communication. What is uh, the purpose of this um, characteristic to uh, healthy family? And what? Okay, correct. It is includes clear and direct communication between among the members of the family. So it is important uh, that the families who can express their feelings and to one another or uh, better equipped to solve problems and face challenges as they arise. So those are the effective or this is the effective communication in order to have a good healthy family. Okay? So again, it can express or who can uh, families who can express their feelings to one another or better quick to solve problems and face challenges as they arise. So this is effective communication. So number three, we have this one. The family role. So any idea? So it is important, yes, correct, to have a family role or you know the uh, you know your rules in your family. So explanation about it uh, about this is it is important guys um, that clear roles and responsibility are well established um, among the members of the family. Why? So um, because or in order to have uh, good communication or unities or union or responsibilities that ensure the family. So this is also the capacity to respond to the needs of the family, deals with demands, and to cope the unexpected changes. So it is important to have a or to know your responsibilities or your role in your family. So number four class, we have this one. In order to have a characteristic of a healthy family, we really need to follow this number four. Be effective responses. So what did it mean? So it is the family's ability to respond emotionally to other family members in an appropriate manner. So families need to be able to share and experience feelings such as love, tenderness, joy, fears, and also the anger. So that is the purpose of effective response in order to have a healthy family. Okay? So, wait, any question about the problem solving effective communication family, uh, family role and effective response? Okay, then, so far. So, next, let's proceed with the, um, the fifth characteristic of a healthy family, which is the behavior control. So, when you say behavior control class, it is the first, right? Any idea? Okay, correct, very good. So, this is refers to the patterns of behavior, the word behavior control. So that the family adopts in dealing with family situation. So even if there was a some hard problems or some uh, situation, we really need to control our behavior. Because your family, you really need to solve it correctly and um, good manners. Okay? That, um, these are the characteristics of a healthy family. In order to have a good or a healthy family, we really need to follow this one or this five characteristics. Okay, so any questions? Okay, none so far. So, class. So, those are the characteristics the parent food, the RH low. So let's proceed. Or any question regarding to the uh, our lessons for this morning? So none. Okay. So class. Again, what is our age low? Uh, Mr. Abion. Okay. Very good. It's provide universal access to reproductive health care. Uh, reproductive health care service and information. Very good. How about the problem solving? Anyone? Okay, some problem and issue that can find the family to in order to have easy solution or the ability to function effectively. Very good. Effective communication. 
Now, we have the influence field during communication and the family role. We need to know, for it's important uh, the family can uh, know their roles and responsibilities. Effective and response, again, the ability to respond emotionally to the other family members and also behavior control. Okay, so that's in our discussion for this morning. So let's proceed to our activities. We have um, this activity one. Can you please get your or get some one half sheet of paper and answer this in five minutes? Okay. Um, can we can you please read, uh, Christine? Okay. Thank you very much. I would like to repeat it again. Enumerate the effects of the size of the family. It's either the bigger family and smaller family. So you are going to put the effects of the bigger family to the smaller family. Okay, time to start. Now. Okay, thank you very much. Um, proceed to, uh, let's proceed to the activity two. So, are you done? Okay, can you please pass the paper in front? One, two, three, four. Okay, thank you very much, students. So later on, I want to check this uh, activity or your answers. So next, let's proceed to the activity two. So this is the group activity. I want to divide you into two groups because we don't have enough time to do this. Um, group one. This will be the group one area two. Over there, okay? Can you please count? One, two, okay? One, two. Okay, thank you very much, students. So, in this activity or the mechanics of your activities is you're going to or sure, uh, create or make your, your own short play. So, students should apply the concept learned about family health in their performance. So, what I'm gonna show to your performances class is the characteristic and also the meaning or the definition of the payment code. So this is the rubrics that I'm going to rate your performance. Okay. Um, this will be your rubrics again. Uh, the teamwork is 40%. The message of the play, we have the 40%. The dialogue is 50%. And the total of this is 100%. So I'll give you five minutes to do that or to prepare your presentation in the front after your uh, practice. So the time is start now. Okay, thank you very much. So group one, can you please uh, start presenting your play? Okay, thank you very much. Let's give them a big round of applause. Tatlo pa lang pa, tatlo pa dyan. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom! Okay? Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom! Okay, thank you very much. So, group two, can you please present your performance? Okay, thank you very much, group two. So, let's give a banana clap. So, tatlong palakpa, tatlong kadya. Peel, peel, eat. Okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Peel, peel, eat. So, thank you very much, group two. So, well, what can you say about your presentation or your performance class? It is uh, teamwork, they have, or you have, the stage 40% and the dialogue. So, can you, I say, so can you say something group to the performance group one? Okay, thank you very much. So, the messages is there, the teamwork is also there. As you can see, to their performance and the dialogue, is uh, not clearly so you only have a so teamwork for the group one is 40% uh, message is and then we have the 35 and the dialogue not clearly or not so much uh, clear or loud you have a 15% so the total of this is 40 50 60, 70, 80, 90. Right? For, I think rather, sorry, sorry, 80%. So for the group two, uh, 40%, <coughs> sorry, 
teamwork, message of the play, we have uh, 35, and the dialogue is uh, 15 also. For uh, 5, 10, um, 4, 5, 6, 7, ah, sorry, 90. Sorry, 90 class, sorry. Uh, the group 2 is also get our 96 the message. So we have 91%. So this is your grade. So thank you very much, club. Your hands are open. Okay, thank you very much. So class, so that's end our discussion for this afternoon. But before we end this, I have here some assignment. So get your book, uh, notebook rather, to write your assignment for, for this morning. So your assignment is what are the modern family planning methods? So you're going to identify the modern family planning methods. Okay? So you can write it in your notebook. So any questions with regards to our responsible parented topics or lesson? And did you already uh, write? the assignment for this morning so any question so far so uh, let's call it a day class thank you very much again good afternoon